people welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me in this video we're gonna get into diy box braids these ones that i have here as well as recycling your hairpiece so basically i had twists before this and i couldn't bear them because they were just too heavy so i decided to make them shorter and because I can't really make the twist this length and my hair comes to here, I decided to do something new, a switch up. Everybody's been wondering how I got it this short since my hair is long. Just stay tuned and you'll find out in the video. Before we get into the video though, I just need to highlight some few things because my video is kind of done in pieces and you might not understand what's going on so basically i do things very unconventionally and i just if i want a certain hairstyle i'm gonna do whatever it takes to get that hairstyle and so this might not be as easy peasy for everyone but if you're willing to try it out please go ahead this is also not just for people who do their own braids but it's for your stylist as well. So if you are a hairstylist, if you do people's hair, you could use this method on your clients if they want this hairstyle. I think it would be better and faster if you were doing someone else's hair rather than your own hair. So I don't want to take too much of your time. I tried to make this video as short as possible with what I was doing in the video, which takes some time, especially when it's an educational video. So I hope you guys stay tuned and that you enjoy this video. I just want you to know that you'll see in the video I used Appleton Mango Butter. I got this for free, but they are online. I got this in a goodie bag at an expo, but you can check them out on Instagram. It's Afrotain. That's their page name, their handle. So you can check them out and order. It smells really great. It is, I would recommend all of their products for type 4 hair. I have type 3 hair, so I don't really like all of their products. Maybe I wasn't using it right, but <sighs> I love the smell of this butter. It has like a hair food texture. So because my hair was gelled before, I didn't want to put any mask or any yeah something like a mask or curl cream because it was going to wet my hair and i would i preferred my hair to be dry for this method that i was doing so also when my hair is wet it tangles very easily and then i can't braid it so it's better that my hair is dry it's more manageable when it's dry and that's why i use the hair food instead of a mask then I used got to be glued for my edges so that it can stay in for as long as possible. I have these for quite a few days now. They still look good. They stay in place. I only touch these up every now and then. And yeah, this is my go-to. You can get it at this game. I'm not sure about clicks, but you should get it there. And some people sell it online, but the skin is cheaper. And then Revlon Flex. This is the mousse I used when I was done. It was just because I hot watered my hair. And I wanted, when you hot water your hair, some of the product might have come off. That's why I put this on to keep everything tamed and in place. As you can see, my hair is still in a good condition. Hot water can also damage your hair. So that's why you put as much product as you can on your hair. So I just want you to know that if you're doing this from scratch, you don't have to do it exactly the way I'm doing it. This video is basically just to show you how I got my hair to this length and the method I used to plant my braid. Planting means the start of your braid, how you start it. Some people wrap it twice and then braid. Some people feed it in. With this method, I couldn't feed in because I have 
longer hair and because i folded it oh i'm giving it away but yeah you'll see what happens in the video and before i talk too much just enjoy the video and hope you learn as much as possible and yeah you can catch me on instagram as kishi Coles. you can catch me on facebook as lakeisha skiddo and yes that's all i have to say so let's get into this video and i forgot to mention if you see me with braids burning just know you're not supposed to do that the only reason why I burnt the ends is because I ran out of elastic bands and I could only get them the next day. So, that's why I burnt it, just to keep it together. It is very unpleasant. I wouldn't advise anyone to burn the ends because they stick together and they stick on your clothes and they just, oh, it's so annoying. But anyways, I got these really, really cute elastics from this skin. They were 30 rand. And I just love how it opens like this. You see? And they're so strong because I usually get really weak ones. They always break. But anyways, that's what I use, guys. So, yeah, let's get back to it. Bon and you know, oh, yeah, and you born, oh, boy, so bad. The bully, long daddy, God, the power, and I say, the bull, and and the Oya 
bona ndi novu uyo andi bonu bu soba ndi bulelo ndali kondi pa wena dize ngobuhle nangozi thoba ndi tembe ndi yacela andi soze ndi moshi ngobuhle ba
Oh 